I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. You've lost none of your acid wit, I see. Maybe you'd like to back that up. What say one more bout before Master Lee steals you away? Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. A senior student? Master Lee's little lapdog here to talk to me? My lucky, lucky day. Don't you have something more important to do? I've heard worse threats from children. I know you'd never start anything without the old man's permission. You wouldn't dare risk your status as exemplar to us all. No. I have no interest in fighting you right now. I'll wait until it's worth it, when the whole school is watching and I can crush you slowly. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. You near the end of your training, but I am still your master. You have a greater role than you know. For now, do as I say, and keep the basics at heart.
What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. What does Gal the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it! I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. <clears throat> Well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success.
It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. You would have fought, and you would have died. You are not ready, but you soon will be. There is no choice left to us. I will explain at the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students, and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. Ah, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Wait outside, Gao. I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within. That includes you and me both. I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care.
your people were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. He is the right hand of the Emperor, and rules the Lotus Assassins in place of Prince Sun Kin, who was killed at Dirge, a death he may have orchestrated. He shows no hesitation, and gave no thought to the lives of those we faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. I have no doubt he is utterly evil. I have never faced him, but I know of no one living who has. A dark energy sustains him. That is the armor of a man who has no remorse, no pity. There were three. Emperor Sun Hai, Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, and myself, Sun Li, the Glorious Strategist. Age decided our place in the order of things. Sun Hai was the eldest and therefore emperor. I was next and was head of the army. Sun Kin was the youngest and leader of the monastic order. Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what. It is tied to your destiny. I will explain if you want me to move on. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so... unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The spirit cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only you are meant to understand what is within. You can see the corruption of the spirit realm for yourself. The dragon amulet was with you in Dirge. I understand what it does, but you are the one meant to be trained in its use. I am sorry that my actions denied you this. Essence gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers, and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation. But with this amulet, you can tap their true potential. My power is stretched thin, bled away, and you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search, but look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, 
and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. But when you know both sides of the Veil of Death, ability alone will save you. I have a moment of power. A window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire, and I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. Emotions burn within, but can be coaxed outwards as well. Harness this to bring fire to your hands. Yours is the power to unleash dire flame. There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last. What are you doing out here? You are supposed to be meditating on the amulet and what you have learned for at least another day. A vision? Oh, of course you did. A natural reaction to the great amount of information I have placed before you. It may have something to do with your amulet. Uh, tell me, did you learn anything about the destiny that stretches before you, or what has led you this far? Be careful. I do not want you to be misled by sources I cannot anticipate. Your people had warriors by that name. I regret that my actions caused their downfall. Twenty years ago, the Empire was mired in drought. Your people revered the Water Dragon, so their Temple of Dirge was the ideal place to ask the Heavens for help. But the Water Dragon governed more than just moisture. The drought was part of the natural order, and not for mortals to alter. The spirit monks denied us access. The Emperor was incensed. He asked me to plan a display of power that would force their compliance. As our armies marched, I realized how wrong we were. They were. I could not dissuade my brother, so I fled with you. You must discover for yourself what being the last of your kind means. What else did this vision reveal? You are only to retrieve the amulet, learn to place gems in it, and meditate on your future. I don't want you to be distracted. Master Lee, there's still no sign of her. What? What is it, Wu? I'm sorry, my mind was elsewhere. Dawn Stars, I told you, Master. She went missing after Gao's men were discovered in the school. The state of her room suggests some sort of fight took place. I see. She is not there. No, Master Lee. There's no sign of her. I see. This may prove useful. Thank you, Jing Wu. You may go. Your appearance put Gao's disgrace out of my mind, but it would seem that you are early exit from the caves has come at just the right time.
I didn't mean to appear callous. I'm sure Dawnstar is fine. What I meant was that this will serve as a final measure of your abilities. What better way to show mastery over your abilities than to turn them towards helping your fellow student? Seek her out. I doubt she is in the school, and someone would have seen her if she was in the village. You might want to try the surrounding marshland. Your master commands that you find her. If not to bring her back, then to teach her captor that this will not be tolerated. Gao insults your accomplishments with this action. That is good. Time is very important. Here, take some silver. I asked Fendo and the others to stock essence gems in preparation for this day. Hopefully they have done so. You learned in the cave how single gems are viewed as trinkets and used by self-professed healers and would-be sorcerers, but you can unlock their full potential. Make sure you have everything you need when you leave to find Dawnstar. Do not cloud your mind with anything else. When you return, your course will be clear. I am no common bandit. I've been hunted by far worse than you. your attack, young student. I am not your enemy. This was a misunderstanding. I have tried very hard to go unnoticed, but I also need to eat. I've been on the outskirts of your village once or twice to trade goods. I saw you training. My name is Zoo. I have been called Sagacious Zoo, if you prefer a title. It's a name I share with the first emperor, Sagacious Tien. That is a personal matter. You'll have to take my word that I'm above common robbery, if not many other things. Besides, I have already shown that I have no love for the more common kinds of filth roaming out here. If you know that name, you know the type of men the family employs. I wonder, does their increased presence in the marsh have anything to do with why you are here? They took someone from your village? That is very brazen, and it explains why they wanted to clear a path through the marsh. No wonder you came out here as you did. You're looking to rescue someone. You probably gave no thought to your own safety. That is very selfless of you. I tend to think more... efficiently. I did hear something about a camp. They seem to be killing bandits, so they won't be disturbed. There wasn't much more. I just wanted some peace and quiet. No, I'm not interested in looking for trouble. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. As bad as this is, you're better off without my help. Dawnstar. I am familiar with that name. But I still can't. I've spent a long time avoiding trouble. I don't want to go looking for it now. I'm sorry. Wait. 
Dawnstar, your friend should not suffer because of my reluctance. A group of men went to the north. They had a large pack that was giving them trouble. That may be where their camp is. There's no way to leave the marsh in that direction. Not on foot, anyway. I will show you. It is easy to get lost. I can refuse some fool determined to get lost in the swamp, but I doubt your friend earned her fate. Gal the Lesser shouldn't get such a prize without a fair fight. Now come, we have some catching up to do. We'll find them. Like I said, they can't get out in that direction. Not on foot. I do not blame you. There are times when I do not trust myself. But I will help you here today. Let's go. The main camp is to the north, but there are soldiers all around this area. If you want to find trouble, let's do it quickly. Look! More bandits creeping into the camp! Get them! <laughs> What? Who? No, wait. I don't want any more trouble. Look, I'll tell you whatever you want. The money isn't good enough to die for, all right? Who? The woman. She got loose from the sack and ran into the cave. Would have been safer out here with us. That cave is home to both toad demons and ogres, and both are in a foul temper from fighting over the space. Running in there is like moving from the claws to the fangs. We refused to go after her, so Gao went himself. I didn't plan any of it. I'm just an extra body watching for people like you following after. He brought a few groups of us. We didn't take her. We made Gao do that himself. I know we shouldn't have let him talk us into any of this, but he doubled our pay. It was just one woman. Compared to some things, well, all I'll say is that this wasn't the worst thing done by a Gao lately. Look, that's all I can say. Just let me go. I won't be any more trouble for you. If I go back to Gao's father, I'll be killed as a failure. A reasonable punishment. Gao has some things right. By my grandfather, I won't get in your way again, I swear. No, no! I told you all I could! Sorry. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it, Gao? This is your mess. I didn't make you kidnap me. Your friend is doing a good job of frustrating Gao into carelessness. That will work in your favor, but it also means we have to follow them by a different route. Be careful. That means fresh enemies for us. These caves harbor strange creatures. I swear, Dawnstar, my patience is running thin. No! No! Not you! Anyone but you! What are you doing here? You see that, Gao? That's loyalty and responsibility. Can you even understand those words? <laughs> I understand more than you. I did you a favor, but you are too stupid to know a good thing when you're in its grasp. 
being kidnapped was a good thing? You have an odd view of what it takes to impress a woman. Fools! You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Everything you have is gone. My father has seen to that. You'll see. Death comes from above to ferret out your hidden master in his real name. Dawnstar was the only thing I wanted to save, and what thanks do I get? Nothing. So be it. I'll just kill you all and forget your pitiful little village ever existed. Then fight, and we'll see who's better outside your pretty school. Even if you win, you've lost elsewhere. Thank you for coming to my rescue. I'm not sure why Gao thought he would get away with this. He had to know that someone in the village would come for me, although I suspected it would be you. I am grateful. Your friendship has always been a comfort to me. Maybe that was what made Gao so jealous. I don't know. And who is this? I must thank your new acquaintance for his help as well. Sagacious Zhu. You don't owe me anything. I just helped your young friend through the swamp. Sagacious Zhu. Well, I am grateful. I don't know what Gao meant by saying he was doing me a favor. How could dragging me here be beneficial? Agreed. I want Master Lee to know that we are both safe. It's too bad, though. He wanted to reach Gao. I'm sure of it. Gao just seemed to get more and more bitter. He didn't respond well to discipline. It's too bad. I will wait by Gao's flyer. He can't object now. What happened to Gao's men? I thought they abandoned him, but it looks like you had to fight them all. I didn't realize you took that much of a risk getting to me. Thank you. You weren't always so cold. I guess it helped you here. I heard Gao tell his men to attack anyone who approached. His mercenaries didn't seem too eager to follow me into the cave, though. It seemed like they were humoring him. Maybe they were his father's men. I don't... Wait. Do you hear something? There are so many. Where are they coming from? You should be more concerned with where they are going. You may have won a victory over Gao the Lesser, but it looks like he put things in motion that have outlived him. What? What do you mean? These machines have weapons. They drop casks that explode on impact. There will be soldiers on the ground as well. Was... was that what Gao meant? He said something about death coming from above for Master Li. It doesn't matter. We have to get back. The students, everyone will need our help. Walk away, Dawnstar. You won't get there in time. Better to avert your eyes than see something you care about fall to ruin. Save yourself the pain. This machine of Gao's, do you know how to make it work? Could you fly it? I doubt there are two people in the Empire that know how they work. It's a baffling combination of magic and artifice. I've seen this kind of attack before. The tools used are different, but it's the same kind of destruction. So you don't really know? If you actually cared about the safety of this machine, you wouldn't be about to fly it into a swarm of enemies. What guarantee do you want? 
There is a handle attached to something like the reins of an ox yoke. You move it left and right, forward and back. It should swim through the air fairly smoothly. Will you come to help us, Zoo? You seem to have a good heart. If you are intent on returning, I will accompany you. I have already done more than I wanted, but I could not avoid this forever. You are an interesting person, Sagacious Zoo. Your eyes hold a great sadness that is oddly familiar to me, but I don't know why. Agreed. There are greater things to worry about. I hope we are not too late. It is what I expected. I'm sorry you had to see this. I saw the smoke from the air, but I didn't think... didn't think it would be so bad. Everyone... everyone is gone. Look around! What are we doing here if we can't save anyone? We have to find Master Lee. He wouldn't let this happen, not without a fight. Do what you can together. We will meet in the heart of your school. What is this? We missed a couple of these pitiful students? This is like crushing ants. There's no end to you people. Ants? That's all their lives were to you? Huh. The same question all the others asked. You'll get the same answer, too. Men! Gal the Greater wants this village cleared! Get the job done! <laughs> there were so many. Everywhere. And fire from the skies. We've chased off all of Gao's men. He'll be safe now. No, they came later. First there were fighters in black. With fists you could hardly see. She told them where to attack and they turned like... Like one mind. One purpose. Except... Except for the one. He stood alone. His armor so black. Black like a hole in the earth. So deep, you, you can't... can't get out. You'll be all right, just be still. I tried. I tried so hard. I'm sorry. Wu said... He said there was no warning. Just calm skies and then fire from above. He organized the students, but they were overrun. Master Li was taken when it began. He went without a fight, giving them what they wanted. But afterwards, the students... They were killed anyway. The Lotus Assassins. They leave no one alive to tell the tale. 
People fear the unknown. For Gal the Greater to have them as allies is troubling. The figure your friend spoke of is Death's Hand, the leader of the Lotus Assassins. This student was strong to live as long as he did. Perhaps Gal the Greater is taking advantage of some larger action. The Lotus Assassins answered a Death's Hand alone. He would not appear unless this was important. I don't know why they were so intent on taking your Master Lee, but they never attack without purpose. Gal raved about a lot of things, like hearing Master Lee tell you that he was the glorious strategist. What does it mean? That's not possible. Sun Lee, the glorious strategist, was the Emperor's brother and the head of the Imperial Army. Your Master Lee cannot be him. Why not? Because he can't. Sun Lee was declared a traitor to the Empire 20 years ago. The Emperor himself accused him of killing the third brother, Prince Kin. And besides, the glorious strategist would not have made such mistakes. What mistakes? Revealing himself for one. For another, he would have known that giving himself up would not save your students. The glorious strategist would know his enemy, and if anything is true about Lotus assassins, it's that they don't leave survivors. I should know. I... I was one. It doesn't matter. No, he is right to question me. I'm accustomed to such suspicion. It doesn't matter. Whoever you are, whatever you were, you did not do this, and you do not have our master. We need... we need to decide what to do. When we know where we are going, when we have a plan, then we can talk about who knows what. I doubt I could change your resolve, even if I wanted to. Perhaps I can at least try to point you in a productive direction. If you wish to pursue this, we should head to the heart of the Empire, the Imperial City. He may have old enemies, too. I suspect our true adversary is someone even more powerful than Gal the Greater. You know a lot. We will have to talk about the source of that knowledge. Make whatever judgment you wish. I assure you, I have already made worse. Let's go. I don't... I don't want to be here. I want to go where I can actually make a difference. That is a very common desire. The hardest to achieve, but very common. Come, let's see if we can get Gao the Lesser's contraption in the air again. It won't be stable enough to get to the Imperial City, but we might reach the trading village of Tien's Landing. All trade routes lead to the heart of the Empire. If we are lucky, we can find someone to give us passage. If we're lucky.
That was quite the crash. I wouldn't have left the marsh had I known we were headed for such a spectacular landing. It's a miracle we all survived unharmed. Uh, we did all survive, didn't we? I'm okay too, a, a little shaken up is all. We were lucky. Only a fool braves the air currents without a proper wind map. You can't navigate the skies without them. Not safely, anyway. We weren't traveling far. I thought we could reach Tian's landing safely without one. Obviously, I was wrong. So where are we going to find a wind map of this region? We can't follow Master Li's captors without one. Things are even worse than that. Look at our flyer. Even if we had a wind map, this thing wouldn't take to the air again. <laughs> you make it sound so simple. Flyers and wind maps are rare things, even in the Imperial City. Out here, they're all but unknown. Gao and his pirates used flyers to attack two rivers, and the Lotus assassins who took Master Li had them too. Somebody around here must know something about them. I'm... I'm sorry to get upset, but every second we're stuck here, Master Li gets farther away from us. We're near Tian's Landing. It's a small village, but maybe someone there knows where we can find a new flyer. If nothing else, I remember a clearing suitable for a camp. And if we can't find a flyer, we can always follow on foot. To the south of the village is a forest. A trade route leads through it to the Imperial City. The village is across the bridge and beyond a large marker stone. Look for the giant rock with a painting of a fish on it, and you'll know you're heading in the right direction. Very well. I'll wait here for now. It's not so different from the marsh, actually. More of an impending sense of doom. But that could just be your influence. We should get going. There has to be a better place for us to rest than this. Let's go. You fell from the sky, but despite the maddened spirits here, you will benefit. A spirit monk was here long ago, fleeing the destruction that orphaned you. He carried a piece of your amulet. It was separated, broken apart so your enemies could not find it easily. You have the first piece. It trains your abilities now. The second piece fell here with its minder, hidden until waters receded. A guardian protects it, waiting to test and serve you. The third piece awaits discovery in a distant lair. These three pieces are physical, but there is one more. It cannot be found, only earned. This final piece is all that will save you in the end. Are you all right? You fell over after the fight. There was something here, but I couldn't see it clearly. You saw a vision? Strange that I could not make it out. Strong spirits are usually quite clear to me. Please tell me if you have any more. We shouldn't stay here. It, it isn't safe. There's so much pain and suffering in this place that I can barely think. What did Zeus say again? A clearing near Tian's Landing across the bridge in south? It sounds simple enough. Lead the way and I'll follow. You should get... Where you are. Death's hand should know better than to send his minions out alone. It is clear that you are one of his hirelings, or perhaps one of Gao the Greater's marauding pirates. You will pay for the crimes you have committed.
Don't waste your last breath on lies. I didn't get there in time to help anyone, but I saw you lead the massacre in two rivers. Clearly you were involved. Death's hand went too far in ordering its destruction, and Gao the Greater sought to profit from it. My retribution will end with them, but it will begin with you. Enough! The way you move seems odd. A flaw I cannot see, perhaps? But you are better than I expected. You might even beat me, if I allowed such insolence. You are too skilled to be just a hireling. Death's Hand would view such ability outside his assassins as dangerous. And Gao the Greater prefers his servants docile. I see truth in your eyes. You seek revenge on Death's Hand. You are not my enemy, but who are you? A monk? A mercenary? A bandit? You chase a great evil, larger than you realize. Leave and you may survive. Others have tried to face Death's Hand, but were destroyed, as Two Rivers was. A trait of fools, and perhaps the occasional hero. I also seek answers from Death's Hand and his minions. If you truly oppose him, you will need to find your way to the Imperial City. Of course, only the Lotus Assassins can come and go as they please, thanks to Gao. Travel routes by land and water are blocked, but they use wind maps and flyers to further their goals here and in the surrounding forest. Perhaps, if you are capable, we will meet again. I wish you good luck, but you will need far more than that to survive. Farewell. Ah, you found your way. Good. I decided there wasn't much point in staying with the flyer. It's not going to get much worse in my opinion. Here. I salvaged this gem out of some sort of power source. I imagine you will have some use for it. Now that we're here, we should see if anyone knows anything about flyers. Maybe whoever is in charge of the town can help us get underway again. I will stay here at this new camp unless you need me. It seems like a good enough place to base ourselves out of. Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you think I won't hit a woman? You have to learn your place. This whole town has to learn its place. What are you looking at? This doesn't concern you. <laughs> Time to teach you all a lesson. Hui, what are you doing here? It's been a long time, Zhu. I haven't seen you since that night. I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. I know. After we spoke, I followed you. I... I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. You did well, Hui. Hui and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier and I... I needed her help. There was a child, an orphan. I knew Hui could find a good home for her. She was just a girl. Her parents were... dead. 
I couldn't look after her, and I knew Hui by reputation. I knew she would find a good home for her. She's... safe. That's all you need to know. She doesn't concern you. Besides, we don't have time to worry about something that happened almost 20 years ago. Yes, those are old worries. Thank you for your actions today. Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. There are pirates in the area, and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter them, especially if you are the one I am waiting for. As Sagacious Zhu mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young man, what is your master's name? I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Li, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. So it's true. Master Li really is the Emperor's brother. I wish... I wish I had known. He is gone, isn't he? Taken by the Lotus Assassins just as he thought. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. I served under Sun Li and was one of a few soldiers he trusted enough to contact after Dirge fell. Li knew the events there would have great consequences. He told me of the weeks-long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the Water Dragon itself. The Water Dragon? The Shepherd of the Dead, a goddess of rebirth. To try and steal her power, to even think it could be attempted. Has any mortal ever shown such arrogance? There are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. Each facet of existence is managed by a specialized attendant. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the Water Dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. She was said to have governance over the Great Wheel. She was not a maker, but all life that ended passed her gaze before returning to the Earth in another form. Sun Hai sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the Emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. The Water Dragon's power was tied to her temple at Dirge and the strength of her servants. When the spirit monks were slain and Dirge fell, she became vulnerable. Her physical form could be injured, but she was also a god. Maybe her spirit still exists. I don't know. I'm no expert on the heavens. Few people know what happened. Dirge is a remote temple located high in the mountains. There were no worshippers save for the spirit monks themselves. The Emperor covered up his terrible crime, and the people didn't really care. All that mattered was that the drought was over. Even a god is not invincible. They have their place, and it can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. Li's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Li's family executed. <laughs> executed? Murdered? 
The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. I have no doubt that order came from Death's Hand himself. He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but even had he known, he might still have saved you. Lee knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. The natural order has been disrupted. There is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more. Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. You've got unfinished business with us first! Oh, there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. You certainly look like Lee's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again. We can get back to business. Sun Lee gave me instructions to await you if... if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Sun Li asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, his prize pupil, to have. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and Old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus Assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's Landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the Spirit Monk amulet, too. The Emperor is privy to much. I don't know his motives, but any aid to you is likely a threat to him. You must go to the ruins and find the amulet piece meant for you. My assignment is to give you information to help you acquire the amulet. I will gladly answer whatever questions I can. I am unimportant, but I promised I would aid you as best I can, so ask your questions. There is little to tell. I served him years ago in the Imperial Army. I was a tracker and a soldier. I was not at Dirge when it fell, but I heard the tale of Sun Lee's death. But I refused to believe he was dead. In time, my faith was confirmed. He sought me out and told me what really happened. I swore my loyalty to him on the spot. I revere him as a teacher, and... I revere him. Even when he ordered me to distant lands, my loyalty never wavered. But I am tired. I long for an end to my service.
Sun Li is a great man, driven by greater goals and ideals. Sometimes his gaze is lifted so high that he does not see what is right in front of him. We who serve him are sometimes forgotten, left to toil in obscurity until the time to act is thrust upon us. So it was with me, waiting for you. My assignment is to give you in... Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. The search goes too slowly. We need more eyes and hands in these ruins. Listen well, my minions. Fan out and search behind every stone and under every rock. Somewhere in these ruins are gems. Very special gems. If you find one, bring it to me right away. If you fail me, your torment will be greater than any you have yet experienced. Now go! Lieutenant! You are in charge while I go up to the Great Dam and check on the sentry golems. If anyone tries to enter these ruins, kill them. Of course, Dread One. These pathetic ghosts are becoming an annoyance. Ripping them apart was fun for a time, but now it's just work. I wish we were stationed at Gao's lair instead of here. Good news. Inquisitor Lim wants us to bring the inscrutable power source to Gao's factory. Just change the command word on the damn sentry so we can go. I just changed the command word to Xiao Hua this morning. Do I have to change it again? Inquisitor Lim wants the command word on those sentry golems changed before we deliver this power source. Are you going to be the one to tell him you couldn't be bothered? You've made your point. Let's go. It'll be safer if we stick together. There are many dangers along the way to the dam. Dangers? Like command words slipping into enemy hands? <laughs> I sense something strange about this girl. She is more than she appears. The Guardian is coming. He's very mad. He got mad at this man and hurt him. You better go away right now or he'll get mad at you too. I don't matter. Only the Guardian matters. He's going to be very cross with you. You should run before he gets here. Oh, it's too late. I told you to run away, but you didn't listen. Now the Guardian's here and he's going to hurt you. He's really mad. Sleeping Tiger! Fano fan bobo shimir, cho i kakir wo i furo uk. Wo yo wir apafui ir sir si sitsu to wir uk. Pierre, <laughs> Fano fan bobo shimir, cho i kakir wo i furo uk. Wo yo wir apafui ir sir si sitsu to wir uk, piir ukir ifuir wo. Is better, ho kawuri sa ir tasir uyo. Ne wo ko kips tir sunuk. Wo yo wir apafui ir sir si sitsu to wir uk, 
ki yir o kir ifu yir wo. Na wara irok, wo kup si sir sunurk. Wo ufir i pi yir sir tin tin, wo wo yir. Wo yo wir apafwi ir sir si sitsu to wir ok, pi yir okir ifu yir wo. Wo wo wir wo kir fonir wo kup sis tir sun ukut. The Guardian wants me to give you this. That man over there had it. It's an inscrutable power source. The Guardian says you might need it. The Guardian doesn't know what it's for, but he knows it's important. Otherwise, why would that man have had it? You better keep it for now. The Guardian says we don't have to stay here anymore. He says we have to go with you now. Is that right? I won't get in the way. I'm small. I like meeting new people. The Guardian and I think this is going to be a great adventure. You have managed to survive. I suppose someone of your skill cannot be easily dissuaded. You are more skilled than I expected, but I rarely need to escape from anyone. I had to step back, which allowed me to see that you are not my enemy. You may call me Silk Fox. I apologize for my previous aggression, but I thought you were in league with an enemy of mine. I was clearly mistaken. Powerful forces are at work here. You are caught in great events that are beyond you. But I may have use for someone as impetuous as you. I want nothing more than for you to continue your journey. You seek the old man who was taken from Two Rivers, correct? Of course you do. He was taken by death's hand. I could tell you where his minions have gone. For a price. I've underestimated you once. I will not do so again. Attack me here and the local guards will have you in a noose. What I ask is very reasonable. Information for information. Tell me who he is. Sun Li! Ha! You think me a fool? You are either a liar or very, very confused. The glorious strategist has been dead for 20 years. Everyone knows this. You mean to confuse me, but I am not a willing fool. I will let you maintain this deception for now, just to see where it leads. But we share an enemy in death's hand. For that reason, I will help you. It would take a season to reach the Imperial City by land or water. Air is the only quick way, but you need a wind map. I know the location of one. Lord Yun governs much of the Great Southern Forest. He petitioned the Lotus Assassins for a wind map so he could settle a trade disruption. Of course that has earned him their attention in addition to whatever trouble is infesting his lands. I doubt he has time for charity, but you might try to find him. Remember, if you want to reach the Imperial City, you must go to the forest and get that map from Lord Yun. My path takes me elsewhere. If you actually reach the Imperial City, I will be impressed. Until then, I wish you luck. You are a surprising little peasant. Back again. Have you been to the ruins yet? Time is running short. If you don't find the missing piece of your amulet, the Lotus Assassins will. Sun Lee warned me that others might come, but all is not lost. The Lotus Assassins have a piece of the amulet, but so do you. Victory is far from decided. Whatever the outcome may be, my part in these events is over. Now that you have been to the ruins, I may finally take my leave of this town.
I have nothing to tell you that would serve any purpose. My final service to your master was to direct you to the ruins, and that task is done. And so I step away. I have no further part to play, and I am glad for it. Perhaps history will clear my doubts and show my time was worthwhile. I wish you luck. Uh, and who are you? More importantly, do you have any wine handy? Or uh, can you get some? My... my help? Nobody asked for my help. They don't even trust me enough to ride on my barge. But I'm not some useless old drunk. I'll show them. That's why I volunteered to go close the great dam. I just need a drink or two to get my courage up first. No? But everybody's worried about the dam. Why else would you bother an old drunk like... Oh. Oh, no. You want to go to the pirate camp, don't you? You can't be serious. True, my barge is the only way to get there. But the pirates are dangerous. Believe me, you don't want to go up there. Have some wine instead. No need to threaten me, young man. If you really want to go, I'll take you. I'm the only one crazy enough to make the trip. But we can't go just yet. I promise to close the dam and save the town. Truth is, I wish I'd never told anyone what I was going to do. I was a bit drunk when I said it. <laughs> But I can't back out now. Everybody thinks I'm just a worthless drunk. But when I close the dam, they'll think I'm a hero. I just need a few drinks to get my courage up before I go. Now, now, no need to get upset. I'm drunk, but I'm not unreasonable. If you really want to go that badly, I'll take you. You can work out some of that anger on the pirates. I'll make my way down to the little dock where I have my barge and get everything ready. Just meet me at Beggar's Pier in the southeast corner of town when you're ready to go. I'll be there. I'm a man of my word despite what you might have heard. I'm not just some useless old drunk. You'll see. The wine on this man's breath makes me doubt his words, but the look in his eye tells me he'll be there when we need him. Remember, meet me at Beggar's Pier in the southeast corner of town when you're ready to go. Finally, someone approaches me. I was worried that this town's courage had drained away with the water. You look like a man who is trained for combat. Would you like to put those skills to the test? A mercenary, are you? What else should I expect in this town? If you have the skills, then Lord Yun has the silver to pay for them. The Great Southern Forest, which lies north of this village, suffers from a terrible disease. Every tree within its borders sickens, and the place is infested with ghosts of all manners. Lord Yun, my master, seeks a way to open the forest again and make it safe for travel. He is prepared to reward whoever aids him. Our men are no match for the ghosts in the forest. Perhaps you are. You must leave Tien's Landing via the gate and follow the roadway to the north. The forest is but a short journey away, and Lord Yun makes his camp at the base of a hill. This place feels all wrong. Can't you feel it? It's like the very air is unclean.
If you can't feel it, then this feeling is as magical as it is foul. We should be on our guard. We hurried down as quickly as we could, but I see you had the situation well in hand. I'm impressed. Not many people can disperse the spirits of the dead with any ease. That is true enough, though those with your skills often walk with more humility. My manners desert me. I am Lord Yun, owner of this land, and charged by the Emperor himself to keep it safe. You should turn back south to Tien's Landing. This is the safest part of the Great Southern Forest, and even it is polluted with these strange ghosts. Help me. <laughs> That's certainly a kind offer, but I'm not sure that anyone... Wait a moment. You don't look like a pilgrim or one of the poor folk trying to escape Tien's Landing. Would it be out of line to inquire as to what brought you here? Even caravans employing skilled warriors have been forced to turn back under these ghosts' assaults. I could only reach Tien's Landing by using my flyer. It depends on how long you have to spend waiting. My flyer will not return for at least a month, as I knew it would take some time to set matters straight. Unless we can find a way to remove these ghosts, though, I'll be stuck here warning people away from this place until I'm driven out by the dead. Indeed, though you would also need a flyer with enough fuel to manage the trip. Those are in precious short supply in this area of the Empire. Then again, you seem resourceful, and I believe resourceful people find ways to get things done. Perhaps you could get something done for me. If so, I might be persuaded to foolishly risk the Lotus Assassin's wrath by making a copy of one of their precious maps. The deal is simple. Find out why my land sickens, why it is home to so many ghosts, and you will have your map. Two things threaten the entire length and breadth of this forest. The trees blacken with disease, and ghosts flock to this place like no other in the Empire. I suspect that these things are related and, more importantly, that they're related to a fox called the Forest Shadow. She is a powerful spirit that has long been an ally of my family. Personally, I've had little to do with her. My father and his father before him, however, felt strongly that she should be revered. They considered her the true guardian of this forest. I think something is wrong with the forest shadow, and I want you to find her and figure out what is happening. Once we know that, we'll have a clear idea of what we face. A noble sentiment, but when I look upon these trees, I'm afraid that you may have to destroy her. See what you can learn first, then we will act if it is necessary. Make your way up this ancient trail, and when you come to a fork, take the left path. That will lead you to a temple built long ago in the forest shadow's honor. Once there, find my hunter Spearcatch's leaf, if he still lives. He claimed to remember some sort of ritual that my forebearers used to contact the forest shadow. 
you might also want to keep an eye out for some small shrines that are scattered about the forest. Some of them are said to react to magic or charges of chi. I was beginning to think there may be no cure for this place. Your arrival has given me some small measure of hope. Find Spear Catch's leaf at the temple above and see what he has learned. Your wind map will be waiting when you find a cure. The ghosts attack everyone. They are mad with madness! Thank you for keeping me safe. Oh, this poor soul has been in the forest too long. He feels wrong, just like the air here. It's disturbing. He seems simple as well. I wonder if the horrors of this place have touched his mind. You have come from Tian's Landing? You were? This is good. I was going there, but you're coming here instead. I come from the inn, the Pilgrim's Rest. You must take a message to the town for us. Things are very bad. We starve. The ghosts cut us off from everything. But we are still up there. Tian's Landing must send people to help. Many people should come to the inn to help us. They can't let us starve. You would be welcome there. They would have you for a most fun stay. The inn lies above on the path to the right. No, I should... I, I should return to the inn. They will want to know you are coming. You should come with me. I can take the message down later and you will be safe from the forest shadow and her ghosts. Oh yes, they must be. She hunts us, and these ghosts hunt you, right? Isn't that the same? She's dangerous like these ghosts. We're all afraid of her. be right. She is dangerous. You should go to the inn to be kept safe. That's the only way. I will go back the way I came. Knowing that there are others here, I will be all right. I must go back to the inn to tell them. You should follow the path to the right, not the left. Left goes to the temple and the forest shadow will kill you. In is this way. I watched in awe as you dispatched those things. Not many of your kind can deal with ghosts as easily as you did. Yes, the ghosts are most dangerous. 
we are fortunate that they have not yet ventured inside the inn. It offers us some refuge. But I forgot myself. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, Traveler. I am the Keeper, as they call me. Uh, tell me, did you happen to come across one of us on your way up here? We sent him not long ago to search for help. It was the forest shadow. She's taken another from us. We hoped we had found a way to deal with the fox, but we were wrong. Some. She does not attack us here at the inn. Those few we have dared send out to the forest do not return. We have tried so hard to find a way to end the fox's attacks. She must be stopped. We thought we were close, but no. Well, that is quite a thing to ask, isn't it? Quite a thing indeed. How are we to know we could trust you? No, I do not entirely trust you with such plans. You must know fox spirits can assume the forms of humans. How can I trust you not to be one of her servants, or the spirit herself? For now, simply accept what little hospitality we can offer. These are hard times, but we would not dare treat a guest poorly. Oh, please, it's nothing to concern yourself over. We would not trouble you with such a thing. You are right. I suppose we will simply have to make sure you are properly motivated to help us. One of us here in the inn overheard the hunter and the big man, who are now at the Four Shadows Temple. The hunter spoke of a ritual that would let him reach the forest shadow. But he's a fool. He thinks to find the fox and seek out her help. Her help. She will not help anyone, least of all us at the inn. To save the hunter from his own folly, we took the crystal before he could reach the temple. That is it exactly. Whatever the ritual does, if it reaches the forest shadow, then we must take the opportunity to destroy her once and for all. He would not have taken that chance. I must know that you will use it for the right reasons. You must kill the forest shadow. Do so, and I will give you a half year's worth of taxes in silver. Look around even this hill. Surely you can see the corruption. What creature would be powerful enough to cause such a thing? This so-called guardian of the forest must be behind what's happening here. She sickens the trees and summons the ghosts. There can be no other way. The forest shadow must die to save us and cure this forest. You will aid us. You must. I have faith that you possess the skills to eliminate this cursed fox. The crystal is yours, but remember our deal. You should go to the temple to the west. Find a way to reach the fox and destroy her however you can. Succeed, and the silver will be yours. Now go. The mother? Nothing, nothing at all. You should not speak nonsense when the forest shadow is still alive. Oh, you 
truly wish to know. Your mind will not rest until you have an answer. You are lucky that I sense such great strength from you. Had you dealt with those ghosts out front with less efficiency, I would tear your throat out. But please, allow me to reveal all that you wish to see. Let me show you the truth. Gaze upon our forms and bask in our glory. You should be honored to see the true strength of the cannibals. It's them! Their corruption is what I've been feeling in this forest. They are... vile! Are you happy, now that you have the answer to your prying questions? No, of course not. You wish to know more. You are drawn to our majesty. Intriguing, yes? Such power is hard to resist, is it not? You must understand that we are servants of a powerful demon known as the Mother, who has taught us to draw strength from human flesh. The forest shadow imprisoned her millennia ago, but soon she will be free. You will help us with that, or you will die. We have made you an offer. The bargain was vast amounts of your precious silver for the life of the forest shadow. Now we add your life to the deal as well. The fox holds the mother trapped within the earth of this hill. But she can hold nothing with dying paws. She is a most powerful creature from a time when primal hunger ruled all of your kind. She has been trapped in this hill for centuries, trapped by the fox. But as the dead grow restless, she feels their anger, their rage, and their hunger for release. They feed the mother, and she grows strong as the ghosts flock to her. She reached out to us. We are her children, and I am first among them. What will it be? Do you value your life, or will you play the fool? Our offer stands firm. Go swiftly, and there may be even more than silver awaiting you. How can you fight so well when all you do is drink? It's harder to drink your water down swill and face those ghosts. Is everything in this damn forest missing the good parts? No, hey! That one's got all his parts, and they're even attached! Finally, a challenge! Wait, no! That's not a... Damn him. Weeping Tiger! <laughs> <laughs> You're no ghost. Hell, you're barely human. No one has ever withstood the axes of the Black Whirlwind before. Where? Oh, you mean me? That's water under the bridge through the lake and out to the ocean. Anyway, I'm guessing you must be here on Lord Yun's business. Can't imagine why anyone would come here otherwise. 
You'll want to talk to Spearcatch's Leaf. He's Lord Yun's man. I'm just the hired mercenary. I am so very sorry. You must accept my apologies. He is uncontrollable sometimes. Keep your apologies. That was amazing. Spearcatch's Leaf is no warrior. He doesn't understand the thrill of victory. You've just had the unexpected honor of defeating the Black Whirlwind, the self-styled deadliest mercenary in the Jade Empire. The tales say this man once stormed an entire fortress alone, naked, and screaming his defiance into the night. Ha! Scared the tar out of those border guards. But they botched the story. I was naked screaming and I was dead drunk. Pretty much the part you'd expect. Makes them curl up in shame if you take my meaning. <laughs> There's dozens of them, but if you didn't recognize me right away, you must not have heard them. Now really isn't the time to share them. I need about five bowls of wine and a soft patch of ground to even get started. Yes, I'm Spear Catches Leaf, Lord Yun's lead hunter. I learned a ritual from Lord Yun's father, and I had hoped to use it to ask the aid of the Forest Shadow. I've set the fires and the furnaces are ready, but one of the key crystals is missing. Without it, we can't even see what these furnaces are supposed to do. You have it? Excellent. I should return and report this to Lord Yun. He will want to hear this news. The crystal fits into the central pedestal atop these steps, unlocking the lens arms in the lower furnaces so they can direct light to the remaining furnaces. The other furnaces have colored crystals in them, presumably to alter the light. Lord Yun's father called this the Ritual of Seasons. A forest, he said, cares about only two seasons. The cooler air of winter and the blistering heat of summer are the only things it notices. All right. Summer and winter seem to be the key. Black Whirlwind will stay behind to offer whatever help he can. If anyone can control him, it's you. Hey, I'm not some cheap bottle of wine to be passed around. Damn it, even wine shouldn't be passed, in my opinion. Lord Yun paid you very well to safeguard his men, and now you're being paid to safeguard his new agent. Surely you don't mean to go back on your word. My word isn't worth a damn thing. That said, I'm still reeling from actually losing to anyone short of an army. Let me level with you. I don't lose fights, and I damn well didn't expect to lose one in this forest. Then you come along and beat me handily. My only rules are don't touch my axes, don't touch my wine, and don't get between me and my enemies. If you can live with that, we'll get along just fine. Well, you and me and little Miss Magenta here. Maybe she can distract our foes, flush a little leg. Would you like to see the damage these legs can inflict firsthand? Mmm, feisty. I like that. Be safe. If the spirit's willing, I will reach Lord Yun's camp quickly. If you need more supplies or training, that is where I will be. Let's go find something, and make it stay a lot worse! You got it. 
but you can't actually use my axes. Just so we're clear, I'm the only one who touches the axes. You should ready yourself, mistress. I do not trust them. <sighs> Mind your tongue, human. A friend who weeks of those beasts at the inn? <laughs> Do what you wish, mistress, but I will be watching. Even here, so weak, the waters cannot bleed forever. Nothing is without end, not even this world, not when my power rests in the hands of mortals. Names are fleeting, given so your kind can point and say, that is mine. All words, names, history, dreams, they die on your lips. What remains after that is beyond you, or is meant to be. Not everything can be owned, not without price. You will pay a debt earned by another. I lack the strength to help you. You cannot avoid your fate. When someone steps beyond their station, others must fall to fill the gap. He challenges the order. He pushes above while you are where you should be, where you must be. If you fail in your destiny, your true enemy falls with you. And if he falls, so do we all. 
You must win. But in doing so, you will lose. It is a painful circle that must be allowed to close. You do not truly have a choice until you confront what comes after. You will be free to act, but there is a cost. I knew it. You should have crushed him when he first arrived, and was at least winded from facing the demons. You will not make it that far. I will see to it. Where did you... Ah... Oh, the spirit. She is dead, and you will return to us. The mother be praised. The caves are open, the mother is free, and we have gathered the silver that we offered to pay you. You make a wise decision, Thin Blood. Our people will prosper, now that you have freed us from the fox. Take this scroll and study it when you have the chance. As a final gift, we give you this cook. He's useless to us. He shivers like a leaf in winter. Remove him before his weakness infects us. That is why we like you. You are practically one of us. But for all that, your blood is still thin and watery. It is said that this one knows a secret, a style rarely seen in the Jade Empire. If nothing else, you may be able to extract it from him. Now go. Leave us to our plans. Thanks to your deal with the Keeper, I'm allowed to go free in your custody or company, as you see fit. The name is Henpecked Ho, Master Bunmaker and Long-Suffering Husband, at your service. You may have sided with them, but at least you're human. It's a relief to be away from their hungry stares. I'm just glad to be alive, and I have you to thank for that. Those beasts wouldn't have let me go otherwise. Now, 
Let's get out of here before the cannibals change their mind, or get hungry again. We must be safer than this place. Good luck. You'll need it, I'm afraid. I wondered how long it would be before you made your way down here. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but the air has changed considerably. My family has always been tied to the forest shadow in some strange way, and I can tell she's dead. It's a shame, but looking at these trees, I can see why it had to be done. I'm just glad you were there to handle things. Dealing with a maddened fox might have been beyond my skill. Do you not appreciate the value of a wind map? I risk death at the assassin's hands by even giving you a rough copy of one. That is true. I'll not have it said that I ask people to place their lives on the line for a pittance. Here, take this purse. It should set us even. Here is the wind map you wanted. The copy is near perfect, and I assure you that the assassins will never know you have it. For now, I think I will look after this land. With the forest shadow gone, I'm sure the trees will restore themselves in time. Indeed, it is. You have my deepest gratitude. I had virtually given up hope, and you appeared like a gift from the heavens. One thing I have been meaning to ask you, though. What of the Pilgrim's Rest? Spear Catch's Leaf mentioned that you went there to retrieve the crystal. How do they fare in that place? They're all right then. I wouldn't have expected that after being isolated here for so long. We may very well do that, and soon. Yes, we should take them supplies and food and see if there's anything else we can do to help them. Farewell. That map will carry you safely if you can find a flyer with the range. I wish you all the best of luck. There you are! <laughs> I confess that when I got down here, I wasn't sure I actually met you. Too much wine in me. I thought you might have been a dream, but here you are! I can take it to the pirates if you still want to go. Might be a dangerous trip. The river has been running fast since the dam was opened, but it won't be any worse than the pirates themselves. I'll take you, and if the pirates slit your throat and dump your body in the river, I'll bring you back to town for a nice burial. If they leave your body on land, you're out of luck. Well, it would seem we have little choice. I certainly hope we won't regret asking Rue to help us. The slaves! You'll pay for that, maggot! <laughs> Will I? If you scum have any sense at all, you'll stand aside. Let me go drive a blade through your master's throat and I'll forget I saw you. Oh, certainly. We'll sit back and let you stroll upstairs to kill our leader. Would it help if we drew you a map to his room? Ukir Akuno Su Ukut ni Sisa Irkanto. I wasn't serious, you idiot. We're going to kill this intruder and go back to our drinking. He's just one man. He can't beat all of us. Look around. The odds are not so much in your favor. There's still a chance for you to run. 
What are you talking about, fool? You haven't noticed that my partner over there watching us? He spent his entire lifetime learning how to kill dogs like you. This is your last chance. So, the thief brought a friend. That just means you won't die alone. Attack! How'd I know you'd be deadly in a fight? You'll have to accept my apologies for dragging you into that, but I can't afford to be stopped. Not now. My name is Skye. It's good to see there's someone else in this place who can't stand these slaving dogs. We make quite the pair. If you're gonna kill me, I say we save it for a big stunt and make it worthwhile. Besides, I have something very important to accomplish before I die. It was obvious you weren't with the pirates. Why not deal with them quickly? There's bigger game above us. Speaking of which, there's a very secure and equally intimidating gate blocking the way. If we work together, though, it'll be simple to crack. I'm here on a personal matter. A man in this place took something very valuable from me, and I intend to repay him the favor. Yes, I hunt Gao the Greater, though I will not say why. It is a personal matter. I won't be stopped now that I'm this close, and luckily you're here. That'll make it easier to reach the upper levels where he hides himself away. The door at the top of this stair is locked through a fairly ingenious mechanism. Gao's engineer, Kang the Mad, designed it for security. Kang the Mad is a crafty fellow. The door requires two to unlock it. Up high there is a platform with the release lever. The door must be operated while the lever is held forward. There used to be a sentry up there who handled that kind of thing, but uh, he had an accident. I can climb up and pull the lever easily enough. You can open the door when it's unlocked. Once the door is open, we can go our separate ways. I have my goals, and I'm sure you have yours. Since we both have much to do, why don't I go and lock the door now? I should go now, but I have to ask in case we never meet again. Where did you study? Watching you fight, I just had to ask. Your technique is like no other I've seen before. No one I've ever met fights like you do. It's subtle, but your movements bait your foes into seeing an opening that isn't there. It's like a clever trap. I'm sorry, I'm wasting time neither of us can spare. I'll get ready and pull the lever when you're near the door. Good luck with whatever brought you to this place. Mistress, I am almost ready to return to the Imperial City. Another day, and I will bring you the amulet fragment. I lose confidence in you with each passing hour, Lim. You should have been back by now. Why haven't you ordered Gao to grant you one of his flyers? Mistress, Gao's ships are only small flyers. They're good for short-range flights and raiding villages, but not for long journeys. That's why I haven't returned yet. Don't try to pin your failings on me, Lim. I've delivered everything I promised. It's only a matter of time until I finish the special dragonfly to transport the artifact to the Imperial City. 
Until you finish. I designed that dragonfly. I built it, not Gao. That dragonfly is Kang's masterpiece. Silence the mad fool. I've heard rumors of a spy disrupting our operations in the Southland. Maybe this is all too much for you to handle. Perhaps I should come out there personally. That will not be necessary, mistress. I will deal with the troublemaker here and return to the Imperial City in one day. You heard, Mistress Jia. I can't waste any more time here. Get that flyer finished. Now! Jia is not my mistress, Lim, and I don't take orders from you either. Remember, if not for my son, you would never have discovered where the glorious strategist was hiding. I am well aware of your son's role in all this, Gao. In fact, I suspect I know more about him than you do. What are you talking about? Have you heard something about young Gao? Tell me! Of course, Gao. I was just waiting for the perfect time to tell you. I received a report from the destruction of two rivers. Your son, Gao the Lesser, is dead. No! This can't be! You lie! I speak the truth. It seems your son was no match for one of the other students. From the condition of his body, it sounds like he died quite painfully. No! Young Gao was everything to me! Damn you and your black heart, Lim. Damn you! I... I want to be alone. I, I must grieve for my son. No one is to disturb me. No one! If I can get to the Imperial City fast enough, I can give the amulet fragment to Death's Hand himself. Then Grand Inquisitor Jia may be in for a surprise. We shall see. You may have your workshop back, Mad One. I suspect Gao will be preoccupied for some time, so I'm in charge now. I suggest you finish your dragonfly today. Interruptions. Who designed that dragonfly? <laughs> to build something to make his sandals explode. well with your punching and kicking. I was going to make more of an explodey thing, but the uh, kicking worked well too. I am Kang, the mad. I make things explode, and I make things fly, and I'm very good at both. The things I fly tend to survive. The things I explode, not so much. Do I build flyers? Do I build flyers? Uh, yes. Have you heard differently? Fantastical things, but misused by Gao and his cohorts. I have saved the best for myself. My greatest invention is in the launch room upstairs. Light and fast, she has weapons and capacity no other flyer does. The marvelous dragonfly. I am not Kang the Stupid. Eventually, Gao is going to see me as more nuisance than asset. Plus, he took my amber mosquitoes and ruined them through duplication. He doesn't understand that multiples diminish the glory of any creation, weakening them all. The marvelous dragonfly deserves better. I'll take my chances with you. The man with the eye wrap was Inquisitor Lim, a lotus assassin, very cruel. The wealthy merchant was Gao the Greater, of course. He runs this place. The woman directing them both was Grand Inquisitor Jia. Jia partnered with Gao the Greater and sent Inquisitor Lim here as her representative. And because of their demands, I am forced to make flyers that they misuse. But they won't get the marvelous dragonfly. My special creation will not be abused.
Under protest? Gao does not appreciate what I make. He misuses, and worse, he duplicates and diminishes their glory. Well, no more. The dragonfly will not function. Gao wants to give my machine to the Lotus Assassins, but I stopped him. I hid the extraneous dust inductor where no one will find it. <laughs> Try to fly without that. But they can make a new inductor. It is extraneous, after all. So, a few days ago, I blew up the inscrutable power source. Now the dragonfly can only make short hops. Yes, yes, of course. What do you think I've been saying? You need to listen more carefully. If you stage a combat-related accident for Gao, like falling down a flight of punches, I'll replace the inductor on the dragonfly and we can fly away. What do you say? You are sure to profit from this partnership. In fact... I've never accidentally exploded anyone traveling with me, so that alone is a benefit of my presence. Anyway, you go ahead, and once all the kicking is done, I'll come along and we'll see what's what. Uh, for now, let me think. Uh, we'll need explosives that explode. Yes, goodbye. Go and leave me to think. Go away, Lim. My son is dead. Leave me to my grief, or I will see that you join him. Listen to me, Gao. Your son may not be lost forever. The Lotus Assassins have power, even over the dead. I know all about the necromancy of the Lotus Assassins. Take your false hope and go, or I'll... Wait. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions! You will pay for... Wait. You are not one of my servants. I know you. You are one of Master Li's students. You, you are the one who killed my cow. Damn you in that school. My cow was never good enough for Master Li. You were always his prize pupil. And now my son is... Enough, Gao! This troublemaker has disrupted our plans from the beginning. It had to be them in the ruins, and someone aided the troublesome Lord Yun in the forest. It is time to end your meddling. Perhaps if I offer your head, and track down that accursed zoo who has been seen in the area, enough old scores will be settled to earn my life. Is that what he calls himself now? Hardly an honest representation of the blood he spilled. It doesn't matter. No matter your allies, I cannot let you survive. Enough talk! I will delay your death no longer. May your fall sate the anger of death's hand, will of the Emperor. <laughs> Dead already. Damn it all. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. It matters because he deserved to die by my hands. No, that's not right. I should be thanking you. Besides, after I left you, I stumbled across something just as important. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. I lost her mother when Pinmei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation.
I am many things, but broken is not one of them. The past few years have forged my grief into resolve. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. Is that so? There can be no doubt, then. This goes beyond Gao the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. Hey! That's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together rather than apart. I don't know if I trust this man, but we can't afford to turn away potential allies, not with what lies ahead. Your companion's ability to judge character is matched only by her beauty. I may not be the most constant of men, but I am true. I have nothing to hide. My motives are plain and our causes are aligned. I assure you I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. Kicking and such, it really gets the blood flowing. And explosions. Lots of blood flowing from those two. I replace the dust inductor. The marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way. The heavens welcome my machines, but not without considerable cajoling. If you want to fly more than a short distance, I will need an inscrutable power source. <laughs> what wonders cling to you, my friend. There were only two in this whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Hmm... Not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. Ha-ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! <laughs>